I was in Bath and Body Works and this girl had a stroller and so I went to look at her baby. It wasn't a baby, it was shopping bags. Today is Thanksgiving Day, it's 10 o'clock, Happy Thanksgiving. I'm at the Houston Galleria and if you're not familiar with the Houston Galleria, it's this huge mall that has over 400 stores and a hotel attached to it, which is where I'm staying right now. Their sales actually start a couple days before Black Friday, so I've been shopping them for days but their best sales start tonight and then again tomorrow. So I'm gonna go shopping tonight, and then I'm gonna shop again tomorrow morning. So I'm back from Houston and I wanted to show you everything I bought. Originally I wasn't going to do like a try on haul, I was just going to hold up the stuff and say this is it. But I went and watched the vlog footage that I got and it was kind of just like videos of storefronts and I was like, you know what, I'll put these clothes on and make it interesting. I think I'm going to start with accessories because those are the easiest. First of all I got these earrings from Kate Spade. Kate Spade's jewelry is always such high quality that I don't mind spending a little bit more there. And they were 40% off, so that was really exciting. They had the best sale this year, so shout out to Kate Spade. From Quay, I got these new sunglasses, and they were originally like $70, which is a reasonable price for sunglasses. But they were buy one, get one free, and I was with my sister, so she got a pair and I got a pair. They were both $70, and so we actually just got two pairs of glasses for $70, which is $35 each. So, pretty cool if I say so. The tag's still on it, so ignore that. But I think they're kind of cute. They're a little bit different. I'm usually someone who only wears like the traditional Ray-Ban shape sunglasses, if you know what those are. And uh, so these were different because they have like a round lens instead of the little square oval, squoval thing. I don't know, these are different for me and I was really excited because I'm always wearing the same kind of glasses. From Madewell, um, fun fact, I went throughout the weekend saying, let's go to Madwell, it's not Madwell, it's Madewell. Didn't know that. Um, but I got these really cute scarves. I love scarves, I love to put scarves in my hair, but all of the ones that I have are super long Whenever you tie them into like a ponytail, they go to like way down here and it just doesn't look right because my hair is not even that long. And these were the perfect length and they were like 25% off, maybe even more so they were cheap too. It says like chow for now and I just thought that was like kind of cute. And you can't really see the words anyway whenever you're wearing a scarf. And then this one, this is my favorite. It's all of the little neighborhoods and towns and boroughs, I guess, of New York and it has like a New York skyline too. See? Oh, I'm so obsessed with it. I've already worn it like twice. I love it so much. I also got a scarf in this print. This one was wrapped up and the others weren't because I think these were actually for display and I just like grabbed them off the display. So, sorry. And then finally I got these cute little socks. They have flowers on them. They are also on sale. I think that's it for accessories. I'm gonna move on to like the Bath and Body Works stuff that I bought. Everyone knows on Black Friday, Bath and Body Works does the three for three. So you buy three things and you get three things free which is the best sale like ever. Um, I also bought a lot of makeup from, well, a lot. A lot. Yeah, it was a lot. I bought a lot of makeup from Sephora and Morphe because Houston has a Morphe store now, which is the most amazing thing. Instead of going through the makeup right now, I think I'm gonna do a full face to first impressions. I think that'd be more fun. But from Bath and Body Works, I got three body washes of Stress Relief and Sleep, which are my favorite body washes from there. Next, I got this. Can you see it? Chamomile sleep spray. And if you know me, I love to drink tea and chamomile is one of my favorite teas. And I always have trouble sleeping. So it's like three things I might have tackled. Oh, I also got the sea salt hair mist, which is like the at the beach spray. I first got this last year because I have curly hair naturally, but it's not like super curly. So it needs something to like 
liven it up a little bit. And I really like this one. It smells really good because it's from Bath & Body Works. But I couldn't find it at my Bath & Body Works for like the longest time and I started panicking. And they had it there so I got it on sale and I was really excited about that. Moving on to tops. First of all from Urban Outfitters, I got this Tommy Hilfiger pullover. Super cute. Well, actually, I guess it's a hoodie, but at my school, we have to wear khaki pants or navy pants, and so I thought this would be kind of cute to go with our uniforms, and maybe it would make it a little bit cuter. Also from Urban Outfitters, I got this button-up shirt that ties at the bottom. It's really soft, and I think it's going to be really comfy. It's a nice just, like, throw-on shirt for winter. All of my winter clothes are either super formal, like, skirts and sweaters and things, or... They are long sleeve t-shirts and leggings. I have like no in between, so I really tried to find more stuff like that. Next to my garage, I got this little sweater and it's super soft and super comfortable. I don't have many sweaters that go over shirts and dresses and things, and so that's something I wanted to look for. Garage was one of the best places that I shopped at because everything was 40% off and they already have really good prices. Also from garage, I got this little shirt. It's just kind of like a chill shirt that I can put with leggings or shorts. I tried on the small and it was super cropped and so I got a large instead because everything that I own right now is cropped and that makes it really hard to find clothes to wear on like anything that you don't want to wear a cropped shirt to. I knew there was like one last shirt but I couldn't remember and I realized that I was wearing it. This is from Free People and if you've ever shopped at Free People you know how hard it is to shop there because everything is just so expensive and it's not somewhere that you really see a lot of sales on but I do think this was like 25% off, which is really saying something for them. Before we move on to pants, I wanted to show you this PJ romper I got from Victoria's Secret. Honestly, this is probably my favorite thing that I bought whenever I was in Houston because it's just so funny and it's really cute and really comfortable. I don't know. I just, I really need someone to have a sleepover so I can wear it. Moving on to pants, I got these joggers from Garage. They, honestly, I wasn't going to get them at first, but then I was at the checkout and my total was way cheaper than I thought it would be because of the sale. And so I was like, wait a minute. And so I ran over and grabbed these pants because I knew they looked really comfortable. And they are. I've already slept in them like five times. Next from American Eagle, I bought two pairs of jeans. I absolutely hate jean shopping. There's two things that I hate shopping for. Shoes and jeans. I don't know why. I just, I really don't like it. Because, first of all, trying on jeans is really tiring. Like, if you have like 10 pairs of jeans to try on and you're only going to leave with two, it's really tiring because you're putting them on, taking them off, putting them on, taking them off. It gets really hot really quickly and it's just not that fun. It's just kind of boring. Like jeans are jeans. It's one of the best feelings is when you get a bunch of things that you're really obsessed with and then you get to the checkout and it's like cheaper than you thought. That's not going to happen with jeans. It's always going to be more expensive than you thought. But everything was 40% off at American Eagle. And so these jeans were almost half price, which is really saying something because they have really great quality jeans, but they are really expensive. And so the best time to shop for them is whenever they have sales because they're going to have sales. It's American Eagle. The first pair is high-waisted. Actually, they're both high-waisted, but these button all the way up. They have like four buttons. They're kind of torn throughout, but the most interesting part of the jeans are at the bottom because they're just really distressed and... It's kind of a unique hemline. You don't see it a lot. Next, the pair of jeans that I have on in this video. Not that you can really see because it's just waist up. But these I am in love with. Uh, probably my favorite pair of pants that I bought out of the three that I bought. Not like I bought a lot. They don't have any holes in them. And at my school, you're not allowed to wear jeans with any holes on Fridays, which is like our jean day. Even if they have fabric behind them and there's absolutely no skin showing, you still can't wear jeans. So these are super fun because while they don't have holes in them, they're still super cool and different because they have these little ruffles at the bottom and I've never seen a pair of jeans like this. And so I knew I had to get them no matter what. I brought like six pairs to the dressing room because I knew I had to find like one that fit. So I think that's everything that I bought on Black Friday. It was definitely a super successful shopping trip. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like it, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.